Freaks, welcome to another You Win Everything series, and in today's episode, we're opening up the highly anticipated 25th anniversary Duelist Nexus booster boxes. And as many of you already know, the cool thing about You Win Everything is that I'm going to give away every single pull from both these booster boxes to two lucky winners. Usually, I would do one booster box and divide that into four winners, but today's episode, I'm thinking I'm going to do something a little bit more generous, and I'm going to give away all the pulls from one booster box to one winner and all the other pulls from the other booster box to the other winner. So if this is something you want to participate in, all you have to do is like, subscribe, comment down below, and make sure to hit that bell notification because that's where I announce all the winners. And that's not all freaks. If you want to double your opportunity to win some of the fantastic cards in Duelist Nexus, all you have to do is follow all the codes throughout the video and make sure to include them in your comments down below. Freaks, I am super excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can get in these boxes. So let me open this up real quick and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, this is the booster box for winner number one. I love this neon green pack art and I can't wait to see what we get for winner number one. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, we start off with Evil Sore Leos. We have uh, the Tower of Necro World. That's pretty cool right there. We have Synchro World. We have Signs of the Histina. I'm not familiar with Histina. Hey, we got a Ultra Rare off the bat. I didn't even notice that. We have Cosmic Quasar Dragon. Guys, look at that. Did we just get the cover art in the first pack? That is absolutely insane, guys. Beautiful way to start off the video for winner number one. I'm not 100% sure how valuable this card is, but who cares? It's the cover card in the first pack. Let's go. Guys, we're starting off really, really good here. I'm, ooh, look at this. We have Behemoth, the King of 100 Battles, guys. I love the original King Behemoth card, so I'm glad they gave it like a reboot or a retrain or something like that. We have Valence Wave Master Phase. Hey, we have a super rare Synchro Force pack. Okay, not too shabby. You know what I really want from this set, guys? I want that Revolutionary Synchro. I think that's what it's called. It kind of looks like Power Tool. Oh, okay. We got your finish. Look at that, guys. I'm actually kind of enjoying the art from Duelist Nexus. That is actually pretty cool right there. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, I really am looking forward to pulling that Revolutionary Synchro. So hopefully we can do that. We have Infernoble Knight, Richard Ghetto. I think that's how you pronounce it. We have another Infernoble Knight card. I was not aware that they made another Infernoble Knight card in this set so that's always cool to see all right we start off with double head dino king rex guys look at that i just love when they do newer versions of older cards that is awesome right there we have signs of this dina we have um wow that is hard for me to pronounce but pretty cool looking art right there we have a giga cannon okay nice xyz card right there hey, hey, hey we got a secret rare dark corridor look at that let's go winner number one you got a dark world card this is not not too bad of a secret rare i believe it's like ten dollars around there so it's not horrible and the art i say is pretty cool guys look at that i love that artwork right there we did pretty well for our first secret rare for winner number one that is awesome i'm glad we managed to pull this card let's go Okay, guys, I think we're starting off pretty cool right here. We have Unchained Soul right there. We have Synchro World. We have, oh, Mandium Torrid. Okay, we have a new Mandium support. That's pretty cool. Not sure if that's how you say it, Mandium or Manadium. I'm not 100% sure, but we got support for this archive, so that's pretty cool. Guys, tell me, do you like this set? What are, what are your thoughts on this set? I'm really eager to know what you guys think. Oh, we got another fusion card. We have Chimera Fusion or Chimera Fusion. Guys, that is awesome. We always get new polarization type-ish cards. That's pretty cool right there. Love the artwork on this too. Nice. Because I know a lot of people were hyped for this set. A lot of people in the comment section from previous. Oh my God, there we go, guys. We have Kamira, the King of Phantom Beast, ultra rare, guys. This is like, what, a $15, $20 card or something like that? As an ultra rare, guys, not to mention, look how beautiful the artwork is on this card. I love the original OG version of this card. And to see an effect version of this card is absolutely absolutely bonkers guys that is awesome guys nothing makes me happier than pulling some fire cards that i can give away to you 
Freaks. Let's go. We have Centennial of the Tistina. Guys, is this a good archetype or not? I'm not 100% sure. I know some people, I believe, said this was a good archetype. So let me know down in the comment section because I'm not 100% a meta specialist, for lack of a better term, right? I do keep up with the game, but not as well as somebody who actually consistently plays it on a meta level. Hey, we have Giselle, King of the Mystical Claws. Guys, this is so awesome. I love these artworks, bro. I'm starting to really dig this because I love these old school cards and they're giving them cool artworks and retrain. So Duelist Nexus is winning me over. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of Duelist Nexus. Are you on board with it? Do you not like it? Oh, we got Big Winged Burfamet. Let's go, guys. I love this art. Guys, can this rival the art of Cyberstorm Axis? Because I'm starting to think it rivaling it. Really, it is because I'm digging the artwork in this set. I really, really am. What would make this even better is if we managed to pull a quarter century secret rare. For oh, okay. We got another ultra rare. There we go. We got the manifested Makonko. Guys, I'm not 100% sure. Is this a good ultra rare or not? I'm not sure it is because I'm pretty sure that Makonko isn't really doing a lot in terms of meta. So it's probably not worth a lot. But hey, I hope winner number one likes their Makonko. Let's go. Come on, can we get a quarter century secret rare? I would love that. Oh, we have Magician of Faithfulness, another card. They retrain Magician of Faith. Love this retrain. Look at that. They even stepped her up in the artwork game. There we go, guys. The super rares in the set, I think, are better than Cyberstorm Axis. All right, come on, come on. Let's get a quarter century secret rare. Oh, we got a Mega Monarch. We have Shadowfire Monarch. Guys, I love the Monarch archetype. This set is really winning me over, and this artwork right here is absolutely fire. Loving it so far. Let's go, Duelist Nexus. Guys, I have a question. Are the quarter century secret rares replacing the Starlights, or is it just a one-year thing for the 25th anniversary? Let me know. We have Dreaming Reality Realized. Guys, this is pretty cool. I'm not sure what this is, but hey, if you like sweets, you like this card right here. Come on, give us that quarter century secret rare. Oh, we have Duelist Genesis. Love that Stardust artwork right there. Kind of like a ghost rare looking thing right there. I love when they do that. Yeah, that's pretty cool right there. I like that a lot. Come on. Come on now. Give us something good. Give us something. For hey, there we go. That's exactly what we wanted. Revolution Synchro. Guys, this is like a 50 $60 card. This is exactly what I was looking for. I love this Power Tool Junior. At least that's what I call him. Power Tool Junior. Let's freaking go. Hey, guys, what do you think? Winner number one is absolutely killing it. I think it's going to be hard for winner number two to top this box unless they get a quarter century secret rare. Guys, I am just, I, I just can't say anything because this is the card I want because I love Power Tool Dragon and getting Power Tool Dragon Junior bro let's go freaks all right winner number two guys winner number two is gonna have a hard time beating winner number one right here this is uh oh we have hound of the tristina guys again let me know if this is a cool archetype or if it's a relevant archetype let me know down in the comment section any box that manages to get Power Tool Dragon Jr. is a absolute W. Hey, there we go. We have an Ultra Rare Infernoble Arms Almus. Guys, is this a good card? I'm not too familiar. It's probably not worth a lot. Maybe like a two, three dollar card. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm guessing it to be around. So let me know down in the comments section. What do you think of this card? All right, guys, last pack for winner number one. Can we get some last pack magic? Not that they need it because we pulled absolute fire. And the last card is going to be Mirror Sword Knight. Not too much right there, but cannot complain, guys. Okay, guys, this is the booster box for winner number two. I can't wait to see what we pull. And it's going to be hard to top the booster box for winner number one. But I have a feeling we're going to pull a quarter century secret rare. Let's find out. All right, guys, we did a fantastic job on the first booster box. Can we get something good? We got Duelist Genesis. But you know what we haven't pulled yet? We haven't pulled that Red Eye Super Rare that I heard a lot about. Oh, hey, guys, we got another Manifested Maconco. Okay, we got one for you, winner number two. That's pretty awesome right there. Hopefully, it's worth something. I haven't checked the prices for this, but hopefully, it's worth at least something. 
Come on, can we pull that quarter century secret rare? We have Infernoble Knight Turpin, another Infernoble Knight card I have not seen. Love that right there. All right, where are you hiding, Red Eye Super Rare? I kind of want to see you real soon. Oh, okay, we have more Noble Arms cards. We have Noble Arms Museum. That is uh, interesting right there. I don't know if these things are worth a ton of money, but hey, if winner number two likes their Noble Arms, this is definitely going to be a win. Also, remember, guys, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can always get up to date on the winners of the videos. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I have people that win and they never claim their prize. I think that happened with our uh, collector boxes. Someone didn't uh, collect their prize, so that's important. Hey, we have sinful spoils of the subversion snake eye. Guys, I'm pretty sure this is not worth a ton of money, but what I can say is this is a cool looking secret rare. So I'm pretty happy to pull this right here. This is pretty awesome. Hopefully winner number two likes it as well. Guys, I am sweating a lot. Not only because we're pulling some fire in these videos, but also because it's pretty hot here where I live. So, oof, that is uh, pretty hot. Especially when I'm making videos, I can't really turn the fan on. Oof. Let me know how summer's treating you guys. Is it super hot or, you know, pretty cool where you guys are at? I would like to know. Let's see. Do we have something? I think we do have some. Let's go! No way! No freaking way! Yo! Winner number two got the best quarter century secret rare in the whole set guys what did i tell you did i not tell you we were gonna pull a quarter secret rare did i not tell you that bro see you guys have to trust me when i tell you these things because we just pulled not only did we pull a quarter century secret rare we pulled the best one this is like a 200 dollar card if i'm not mistaken winner number two just literally won the jackpot guys winner number one did fantastic but they blew it out the water this is it right here i'm gonna put this in the thumbnail a lot of you think it's gonna be kind of like clickbait ish but it's not because when you get to this point of the video you know exactly why i included it right in that thumbnail guys i am so so hyped and you know what i actually pulled three to four booster boxes off camera i actually pulled one of these for myself as well so getting to see one of my subscribers be able to win this card guys i am mind blown right now this is this is i'm speechless i'm speechless let's go Guys, I think this is officially the best giveaway series video we have done because, oh, and we got Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon. Bro, can this box get any better? I think we got the best super rare. This is the best super rare in my opinion because the art is dope. And not only that, it's also Red Eyes. So obviously the best super rare. So we are killing it with these boxes. And we still have like one. Do we have one more secret rare left? I don't know, but I know we have some cool ultra rares left. If any video deserves a like, it is this one. I cannot believe we pulled. Oh, we got Evil Czar Laris. Guys, I hope I pronounced that right. But guys, look at that card. It kind of looks like a Pokemon or something like that. But still a fantastic card. The artwork is insane, guys. The best part of pack opening is getting that rush. And putting it on camera is even better. Ooh, we have a ultra rare Divine Domain Bastina or... Or, uh, tis guys again my pronunciation of these cards is not great so bear with me but we got a pretty cool ultra rare for that new archetype again let me know is it a good archetype is it worth it oof i don't know but guys this ultra rare pretty decent right here Oh my god, can we get anything else? I don't think so, but ooh, we have a Usartic Polar Star. Nice. I love this archetype. It doesn't do absolutely anything, but I love the cool bear archetype kind of polar bear theme to it. Uh, that is awesome right there. Guys, remember to follow those codes because if you do not follow those codes, your likelihood of winning is very slim. And I'm pretty sure you're going to want to win this giveaway because this is the best giveaway on YouTube right now, hands down. It's not every day you get a chance to win the best quarter century secret rare of a set on a giveaway. Hey, we got the Fire Chandler. Nice. That is pretty cool right there. I think they had a quarter century secret rare for this too. So that would be pretty cool to pull maybe on the next video or something like that. But that is cool. We got that cool Fire Chandler. I think winner number two. Winner number two doesn't care at this point. Winner number two already got the best card in the whole set. All right, guys. Can we get some last pack magic? We don't need last pack magic. But at this point, I'm so used to saying it. Um, let's see what we get, guys. Let's 
see what we get. All right, we, we finish off with a gazelle, the king of mythical claws. Guys, remember, subscribe, like the video. It deserves it. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys next time.